ما في حدا يقدر يدعي بانه الوقت هو من تحديد شعب واحد كل شعوب العالم كل واحد كان عنده نظام لتحديد الوقت وهالنظام اكثر شيء كان متبع على اساس النظام الشمسي بصوره خاصه السومريين اللي حددوا لي الساعه ب 60 دقيقه وثواني ودقيقه و60 ثانيه لو في بداية للوقت معناتها كان في قبل وبعد طيب شو كان قبل هذا التاريخ قبل أي زمان كان يوجد الزمان أبو العلاء المعري قال ألا يمكن أن يكون قد وجد قبل آدم آدم وآدم 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 أنه يعني ما في بداية حتى للبشر Deja vu. Deja are not events that you have lived before or seen before. They're not um, a signature of a sixth sense, so to speak. But rather, you've seen it, you've seen an event that just unfolded right before your eyes and it just went to your long-term memory. And then as your brain starts processing this event and as it goes into the short-term memory, a comparison takes place between this event that you've just seen and the short-term memory being compared to what you already have stored in the long-term memory. So it's, it's a glitch, so to speak, between a millisecond of perceiving it, your brain catching it, sending it to the long-term memory before it processes it. And once you process it and you compare it to something that you already have, you feel like you've seen it before. Time is a dimension, just like how space has three dimensions, time happens to be the fourth dimension. Time is so mysterious of an event that movie makers make use of it extensively. Interstellar, Gravity and other movies make use of Einstein's general theory of relativity to get their scenes to get their storyline in accordance with it. You've seen that time is represented here as a physical dimension. You have worked out that you can exert a force across space-time. Gravity can cross the dimensions, including time. The perception of time varies from one person to another. And what is it about time dilation that seems to be so mysterious? In a dream, your mind functions more quickly, therefore, time seems to feel more slow. Five minutes in the real world gives you an hour in the dream. When a certain frame of reference is moving at a relativistic speed, close to the speed of light, things change. Matter seems to be shorter. Time seems to be longer and traveling slower. And Einstein made use of this with his famous theoretical experiments. He said, what if you happen to be in an elevator with the cable cut and then the elevator accelerates down at the speed of, you know, at the speed of a falling object under the influence of gravity, which means that you would experience weightlessness. And then he took this theoretical experiment to a whole new level. He said, what if the elevator is going at the speed of light and then you try to shine light on that floor that you're standing on? Would the light hit the floor? or would it try to get to it while it's fleeing away? How does a massive body like a black hole factor into the effect of time? Interstellar, the movie, they venture into space on a mission and they happen to pass next to a black hole and their perception of time changes. It just, it just changes. They don't feel it then, but they feel it when they come back to Earth and they compare the times that have elapsed on them and that have elapsed on Earth. 
time. The gravity on that planet will slow our clock compared to Earth's drastically. Well, how bad? Well, every hour we spend on that planet will be seven years back on Earth. Einstein said that if space and time are easily altered by massive objects, if you happen to get that fabric of the river of flow of time and you bend it such that a point in the future or the point in the present gets close to a point in the past, a wormhole will form. Time will always be a mystery and scientists will always attempt to explain it but there is no sign that anywhere in the near future we will be able to explain it the way it really is. If you don't cut it, you cut it.